the year 2024 is uh, the year of open doors and we have been looking forward to opportunities of opened doors one of those doors is going to zanzibar and to equip leaders there to spread the gospel um, zanzibar is an irad as we, we probably know of you and it's an irad uh, of uh, tanzania but it is independent in its governance uh, though they have few things that they share with uh, tanzania and taking the leadership training in zanzibar was one of those doors of really thanking god and and uh, being grateful for the door that is open we trained 97 bishops and pastors and the stories coming from these pastors and bishops just bring out a very very clear lesson that uh, we should not take for granted the worship that we have in our countries that the struggles the religious struggles that they have gone through is so much but god has helped them to overcome he has kept their spirit high and he has helped them to draw closer to him as they serve him uh, hearing stories of, of a church built and then destroyed uh, because of religious competition and then built again destroyed again because of religious uh, conflicts was 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 uh, quite humbling to me uh, hearing how difficult it is to get permits sometimes even if even coming from a different country getting a house which you are go which you really want to pay yourself becomes very difficult because those who own the houses do not hold the same religious view as you do and therefore when they hear and learn that you are there for church matters then that becomes the end of the deal they don't even want your money so it was a great uh, moment of encouragement uh great lessons to me and the leaders equipped was so so passionate about training other people and that was very very impressive i i made new friends and i'm looking forward to continue this relationship again just like as i i say in my youtube series on the power of relationships uh i made very very significant relationship with uh with the people uh, in, in Zanzibar, and I look forward to build on the same network. Uh, the last moment taught me a lesson that uh, all plans work together for good to those that uh, love the Lord. You know, I was scheduled to fly out on a Sunday evening, went to the airport, checked quite early, but finally I didn't fly. My flight was cancelled. And we stayed up to 2 a.m. the following day in the airport without really a good reason. Them just trying to find out how they could put us in another flight. Eventually, we, we were checked into a hotel not far from the airport. And this hotel is a high class, high class hotel. Well, I, I said to myself, is it likely that God didn't want me to go back to Kenya when I was so exhausted and tired? And so he decided to give me an opportunity to relax and refresh in a hotel that I would have no way of paying uh, for myself to be there. So I learned how important it is to be patient with yourself, patient with others, just to allow God to deal with situations that come in our lives. Uh, so I had a wonderful morning, nice breakfast, nice bed, nice beach, uh, seeing uh the indian ocean right there and just just enjoying the compound so my viewer if you are going through a difficult moment or anytime there is an inconvenience don't complain it might be for future good and trust god that he will work out things for good for you romans 8 28 of course working when things are working they are not good and it's not easy and uh but the end result is good so may the Lord bless you. I hope you'll enjoy to see uh, the Zanzibar uh, uh, places and people. And hopefully this door will remain open for us to share the gospel. And one day, who knows, you might find yourself there. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you.